Hello, hello. Good evening, everybody. Welcome. Good evening, teacher. Nice to see you one more time. Thank you so much for being here on time. As you may know, um, the weather is nice. It's Good evening. Raining. Good evening. Welcome. How are you? Good. Thank you so much for Thank being you. here, people. Good evening, teacher. Good, good evening. Nice to have you. We're still having classes, right? On Friday. Thank you so much for being here. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. How are you? You good? This is section number three. Three, you can miss it. We're going to have places in the city. That is the class for today. We have beginners module number three, and this is class number five. So welcome. It's nice to have you on this nice. Friday, okay? Friday. It's dark outside. It's raining somehow. So the weather is kind of humid, right? So you can have a big cocoa or a coffee, right? Hot coffee. Yeah, with titas and novias, right? Yeah, I'm sorry, but the electricity is like going down sometimes, right? So the power is going down sometimes. Yeah, so um, I hope like everything goes well on this, on this class, right? So welcome. Nice to have you, and it's nice to see you one more time. Don't forget that on Monday, tenemos clases el lunes, right? Yes. El lunes tenemos clases a la misma hora y por el mismo canal, right? So. ¿Y la vacación cuándo sería, Tiche? Comienza desde el día martes. Comienza el día martes y termina hasta el día domingo. So, el próximo día okay. siete regresamos. Yes. Okay. ¿Y esta es, este es excepción de esta día o...? O así va a ser ya. Así va a ser todo el módulo, ¿sí? Después que vengamos el 7, siempre vamos a tener clase de lunes a viernes. Ah, ok. Ok, gracias. Así está el horario. Entonces, estamos avanzando con las etapas. Que hoy, si se fija, ahorita yo cambié la section number 3. ¿sí? Entonces, ustedes tendrían que ir avanzando en la section 1. Hello, teacher. Sí, tenerlas terminadas. Good evening. Welcome. Nice to have teacher, you. Teacher, disculpe, Thank ¿cuántas you. tendríamos que tener terminadas al día de hoy? La 1 y la 2. Ah, pero yo lo hice dos, dos tareas, no sé si... Oh, sí, sí, tiene, este, puede avanzar, eh, Rosa, sí, para, para completar el, el contenido que tiene ahí, y es, y pues, como le comenté, tendría que tener la sección eh, uno y dos. Okay. Ah, pues pensé que solo uno, pues voy a hacer la dos ahora. Sí, ok, perfecto, perfecto. Teacher. Okay. Yes. Este, la otra semana tenemos que entregar la sección tres. La otra semana queda como partido, entonces, o sea, el lunes tenemos clase, luego nos vamos a vacación y todavía tenemos dos clases después de vacaciones, dos clases de la sección 3. Pero siempre hay que entregar entonces la otra semana. Mm, no sé, fíjese que no sé, o sea, porque me quedarían dos clases todavía para la, las, las, las después de vacaciones. Teacher, si las entrego diferentes esas dos, no creo que tenga problema. Ahí sí no sé. No sé, porque ah, sí, la yo, encargada yo que revisa el avance, pues siempre lo pide por semana, entonces. Ajá, sí, ya. yo lo hice dos tareas, pero de la uno. Ajá, sí, entonces, um, sí, sí le solicito mi recomendación es que haga siempre las dos. Ya la voy a hacer cuando, ahorita, teacher, estoy trabajando en ataco. Oh, entonces, aquí, es, aquí estoy afuera haciendo la clase porque estamos en una capacitación. Oh, that's very good. I'm sorry for los mosquitos, right? I'm sorry for uh -huh. los mosquitos. Yeah. Uh -huh. You are outside in the dark. You have a bunch of mosquitoes. Okay. Uh -huh. Pero sí, Rosa, sí le recomiendo que, que, pues, que avance en las dos secciones, ¿verdad? ¿vale? Ya la voy a hacer cuando termine, que me vaya a la habitación. Uh -huh. Okay, that's good. Sí, porque de repente la persona encargada les publica y mire, necesito esto, ¿verdad? Right? Uh -huh. Sí. Pues, um, yes, so you can be. Y en vacations, creo que pueden trabajar la sección 3 o si tienen tiempito pueden avanzar más que puedan ustedes. Igual, yo les comentaba la vez pasada, pues en el grupo ahí compartan cuando usted pues le entienda algo o yo tenga algún inconveniente, tal vez one of your partners ya hizo that part, so eh, se ayudan entre ustedes mismos. Right? A veces una mayúscula, una coma, I don't know, un, un period, pues no le deja avanzar. Right? Entonces, uh, you can help each other in the group uh, in, that, in that way. Okay? Teacher, ¿y esas tareas eran de entregarlas 
ahora o, o entregarlas. Sí. ¿Ya terminó? Sí, Dime. yo ya las terminé. <ríe> no, Melanie. Sí, tengo entendido, Melanie, hasta donde sé, que para esta semana tendrían que tener finalizada la sección 1 y la sección 2. Yo creo que ayer era de entregarla, pero no dan permiso hasta hoy, parece. <risa> exactly, Cristian, exactly, right. creo que era para ayer. Okay. Ayer antes de la clase, supuestamente. <risa> ok. Yes, yes. Sí, entonces. Uh... Sí, yo, yo ayer las entregué. Oh, look at that. Yes. Uh -huh. Sí, usted ya sabe más o menos cómo es el sistema de, pues, de, de la compañía, right? Es corporativo okay. que siempre piden, cada cuatro clases piden secciones. Yo les comentaba al principio del module que la number one es la, pues, la, la semana uno es la más difícil, que son cuatro clases. En las cuatro clases vemos la section one y la section two. Y es, entonces, siempre vayan marcando por cuatro clases las secciones, ¿vale? Entonces, uh, para que no se vayan perdiendo ahí la guía. Oh, en la, en la cuarta, en la octava tengo que tener la section three. En la doceava sesión tengo que tener la section four. Y en la, pues, y creo que es parte de las cinco, ¿vale? Creo que en la cuarta, en la tercera semana tiene que tener parte de la sección 3, perdón, de la sección 4 y la 5. Sí, eh, 50%. Yes, exactly, exactly. So, Porque al final es el otro 50% de la 5 y el, el final exam. El final, final exam. El final exam es un poquito largo, ¿no? eso ya hago muchas veces. Sí, sí, es bien extenso. Mm, exactly. Ok, I will say the attendance. Okay, when you hear your name, say present or I'm here. Yes, thank you so much. Okay. Well, record. Yes. Okay. Uh, good night, le... teacher. Thank you. Good night. Well, good evening. Eh, no, good evening. Voy, voy para la casa. Bien. <laughs> voy para la casa y no me veo bien, pero aquí voy presente. Oh, very good. What is your name? Nubia Ramirez. Nubia Ramirez. Ahorita no Ahorita ya le tomé la tenda. Okay, thank you. Thank okay, you. people, let's begin with. Tisha, yo no, no me, igual no, bueno, no sé si ya me había mencionado el milagro granado. Uh, no, ahorita voy a empezar. Ok, ah, so, okay. perfect. Aleida García. Thank you, Tisha. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Alicia Arieta. Present teacher. Thank you. Perfect. Ana Osorio. Ana Osorio. No, she isn't. Ana García. Ana García. Press. Thank you, Ana García. Ana Campos Romero. Present teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Blanca Mendoza. Hello, Blanca. No, she isn't. Cristian Romero. You're here, right, Cristian? Present teacher. Perfect. Welcome. Maricela Pérez. Present teacher. Thank you, Maricela. Good evening. Milagro Granados. Hello, present Milagro. teacher. Present. Thank you, Milagro. Welcome. Uh, Isabel Zúñiga. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Good evening. Nice to have you. Eh, Ernesto Arias. Ernesto. No, he isn't. What about Fatima Hernandez? No, she isn't. What about Jessica Romero? Present teacher. Thank you, Jessica. Welcome. Uh, Jessica Serrano Ramirez. Present teacher. Good evening and nice to have you. Juan Carlos Lopez. Present. Thank you so much and welcome. Julio Cesar Tobar. Present teacher. Thank you, Julio. Thank you so much. Miguel Rodriguez. Present. Gentlemen, good evening. Welcome. Rosa Salazar. Present teacher. Thank you, Rosa. Uh, Sidna Eunice Ruiz. Present teacher. Thank you, Eunice. Welcome. Jennifer Flores. Jennifer. No, she is in. Angel Landa. Present teacher. Thank you, Yolanda. Welcome. Good evening, everybody. Voy a revisar el uh, chat. Yo era Jennifer. <laughs> oh, Jennifer. Okay. Give me a minute. 
ahorita. Sí, estuve, pero me salí porque la señal está mala y está lloviendo aquí. No sé si me puede anotar. Estar ahí, right? Yes, yeah, ya le tomé la asistencia. Very good, perdón. Nice. Yes, one more time, again. Remember que el lunes tenemos clases, right? Normales. Siempre en el mismo schedule. So you can, so you can miss, right? You can miss that. Okay. We're going to work with this thing, which is places in the city. Let's listen and repeat at home. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary for stores and other places and discuss where you can get different things. Let's get started by listening and practicing. One. You can buy aspirin at a drugstore. Two. You can buy bread at a supermarket. Three. You can buy a dictionary at a bookstore. Four. You can buy gasoline at a gas station. Five. You can buy a sandwich at a restaurant. Six. You can buy stamps at a post office. Seven. You can buy a sweatshirt at a department store. Eight. You can buy traveler's checks at a bank. What I would like for you to do next is to practice the vocabulary that we just learned. For example, you can pay bills at a bank. You can buy shoes at a department store. After you complete this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Welcome to the international areas. Nice to have you one more time. Can I have a minute of Welcome. Yes, yeah, so we're working with um, places in this city, right? What is the verb that we use with these places? Do you remember the verb from the audio? Tell me, please. Hmm? What is the verb that we have in this uh, place that we use? Me, teacher. Yes, please tell me. Number one is high school. Okay, school, thank you, carry on. Continue. Uh, library. Library. Bookstore. Bookstore. Uh, pharmacy. Oh, pharmacy. Hospital. Hospital. Police station. Police station. Hola. Bank. Bank. Uh, bus stop. Bus stop. Bus stop. Airport. Airport. Train station. Train station. Petrol uh, station. Petrol station. Very good. Oh, Petrol. Petrol. Hotel. And hotel. Hotel. Very good. Church. Charge. Factory. Factory. In garage. In garage. Okay. Very good. Okay. So Juan Lopez, ¿se acuerda cuál es el verb que utilizamos en los ejemplos on the video? The verb. Yes, the verb. Going to. No, oh, sorry. There is one going to? No, no, no. Okay. In the video, we have a verb. Tell me we, what is that? I'm going to? Come. Oh, we have five. Five. Very good. Yes, five. Okay. Yes. Bye. What is the meaning of bye? Exact. So if you go to some places, the only way or, or the main purpose of going there is to buy things. Right? Yes. So you can say, for example, 
Um, let me see. Oh my gosh. ¿Qué significa bye, teacher? Bye. What is the meaning of bye? Comprar. Comprar, right? Yes. So you can say, I go to the bookstore. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. I go to the bookstore. Okay. To buy books. Yes. Right? So you can say this one. Yes. So you go to the bookstore to buy books, right? I go to the bookstore to buy books. So all of this buy is the idea is that you can go to one place and you can buy things. Yes. Right. So it depends because here we have more additional, let's say, places. For example, we have a school, we have a police station, we have a train station, we have like a, a garage. A garage is like a mechanics works, right? Pero también, ¿cuál es otra forma de decir un taller? Anybody? Hmm? Este es un taller, right? Garage. Yes. What is another way to say taller in English? Anybody? He gets or algo así. Ah. I gets. Okay. Very good. Sometimes they call it warehouse. Warehouse, okay. Warehouse. That's why they call it sometimes, like a warehouse, where you can like, o a veces le llamamos bodega también, right? A bodega es una warehouse. You can go there and different stuff. Okay. So these are places that we have sometimes in your city. Oh my gosh. The restaurants? The restaurants, right? You have restaurants in your city. What else do you have in your city? Mm -hmm. What else do you have in your city? China World. Oh, restaurants. Yeah, we have a China World. Yeah, that's it's a Chinese food, right? Well, it is. It is. It looks like a Chinese food, but I don't know if that is Chinese exactly. Yeah, because they sell like, I don't know, American food, I guess. Right. What about what about something else? What is another place that we have in your city? Mm -hmm. um, the beach. Oh, the beach. Maybe if you live in El Puerto, right? If you live in El Puerto, the beach is one place, right? What else? What is another place that you can find in your city? Petro Station. Oh, Petro Petro Station or Museums. Oh, museums. Yes, we have museums in El Salvador. Yes, we have a few museums. What else? Police station. Police station. Yes, right. Church. Excuse Bus stop. Me? Library. Library. Very good. De los que no Bus tenemos. The hospital. A hospital, maybe. Airport. 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 Well, airport is just one, I guess. The well, hotel. We have two, right? Ilopango Airport and Monsignor Romero Airport. Yeah, that's another one. Drugstore. Mm -hmm. Oh, drugstore. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, the drugstore is like a pharmacy. Yeah, that's true. The gas station. Gas station. Yes, very good. Church. The bank. Of the church, we have the bank. What else? Library, 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 yes. library, 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 and then what is, how do you say alcaldía in English? Anybody knows? 
Alcaldía en inglés. Ok, we have the city. City hall. That's the alcaldía. So we have a city hall. Yes, everywhere we can find these ones. Alcaldía, we have a city hall. City hall, yes. Alcaldía. Yes. <laughs> so we find these alcaldías everywhere. That's the only thing that we can Eso find. Se no sabía que así era. <laughs> alcaldía, city hall, piche. Yes, Rosa, that's correct. Yeah, thank you. Theater. Excuse me, Blanca. Uh, theater. Oh, theater. Yes, theater. we have a movie theater. theater. Yes. A movie theater, theater right? Mm -hmm. Like cinema. Or movie also. theater. Yes, a movie theater. Pharmacy. Yeah. Oh, we have a pharmacy. Yeah, here we have pharmacy. Very good. We have different. Mm -hmm. What is something that is very delicious that we can find? Pastry. ¿Cómo se llama esa cosa? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pastry. El pan dulce es pastry, right? Pastry. Uh, mm -hmm. What is the name of that place where we can go and we can buy pan dulce? Pastry. Bakery? Oh, very good. A bakery. We okay. have bakeries. Bakery. Bakeries everywhere, right? So uh, we have, I think we have La Tecleña here in San Salvador. And also Rosario, right? Those two bakeries. Coffee shop. And San Martin is another one, but it's, I think San Martin is not very popular here in San Salvador. Uh, yes. So La Oh, La I don't like that one. I don't, I don't like that one. Like <laughs> Lido also is very popular, but I don't like Lido. I don't know why. I don't know. I don't, I don't like Mr. it. Mr. Pan. <laughs> yes. yes, yes, yes. Repostería. <laughs> It's the number one. Oh, really? Yeah. Bam, bam. <laughs> oh, but <laughs> the bam, bam, bam is expensive. Like, that thing is expensive. It's yeah. It's a mami un día ahí en un En un En un bullito. Hay un bao bao también. Yes. So we have the coffee from the right like a Starbucks. Starbucks is very expensive okay so uh tal vez una vez al año right so i can get some money but every day is too much you know it's too much i guess for me yeah the, the much expensive yeah it's, it's very expensive <laughs> so you need to pay like i don't know probably like four or six dollars i don't know i i don't know like i don't know like <laughs> we don't like that okay very good okay let's carry on with more information about places in the city. Okay, here we have complete the sentences with the correct phrases. Write one letter in each space. So we're going to work with the spelling. I work at a bookstore. I love books, so it's a great job. What about the number two? It says, I'm going to the, I need a new debit card. What is the place? Bank. The bank. bank. Okay, okay. Thank you so much. So we have, voy a ponerlo así porque la otra cosa no me deja. Bank. Okay. Yes, very good. Bank. Thank you. Number three. My car is almost out of gasoline. Is there a gas station? Gas, gas station. Gas station, right? Gas station. Gas station. Una clave aquí para pronunciar esto. Es con la misma, con la misma S comienza la otra, gas station. Entonces, Así. esa S no la voy a Con la Ay, misma que termina que esto, pronunciado, gas station. Una gas sola palabra. Exacto. Gas mala. station. Mm, okay. Number four. Are you going to? The past office. I, I need Fast office. Very good. You're very good at this one, right? Yes. Office. Office. Yes. Office. Uh, no. mm -hmm. So I need the stamps, right? What about the number five? On Sundays, I buy food. On Sunday, I buy food restaurant, for my no. family at the, at the restaurant. Okay. Restaurant. At the supermarket. <laughs> I know the food. 
Ok. Entonces, ¿cuál sería? ¿Restaurant? ¿O supermarket? Supermarket. Okay, let's work with supermarket. Just give me a minute. Or more cat. Cat. Yeah. Supermarket. It fits right. Look at that one. Supermarket. That's correct, right? So it's like on Sunday. Uh, it's Uh -huh. the, coffee, the coffee shop or the coffee oh, okay. the coffee shop coffee shop coffee shop okay. coffee shop coffee shop uh -huh. coffee shop coffee shop before shop. class look at that Anita is going to get some medicine at pharmacy pharmacy pharmacy, pharmacy. Okay. pharmacy. the shop the shopping experience. Pharmacy, yes. Pharmacy. Library. Is that correct? No, mire, mire. Yes. Is there is a drugstore? Oh, let's try drugstore. Okay, let's see. Give me a minute, sorry. Drug. Drugstore. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it fits right. Yes. Yes. Black star. What about the number eight? Do you run? Okay, so my son is going to school next week. We're going to something right in a backpack. Do you run, teacher? Library and uh, no, because we need like the words. No, the the uh -huh. computer. Okay, yeah. it's in a big phrase. It's in a big phrase here. Y luego tenemos something here. Anybody? Mm -hmm. Miguel, any idea? Bookstore. Oh yes, we have a store here at the Bookstar. end. Very good. Yes. Ahí vamos, mire, pero what is this one? It's a big one. No, I'm sorry. Virtual biblioteca. No, sorry. Okay, so it's a department. Department store. Exactly. It's a department store. It's a big, it's a big building or a big warehouse where you can buy. I don't know. It's like like Walmart, which is big. Also, I think Price Mart, I think it's another one, right? I think Price Mart. That's a big building where you can buy a bunch of store of things. Also, Office Depot is a big one, so you can go there and buy it. Okay. So, these are the places and also the things that we can go there and we can buy. Yes. Right. So, are you the me, please? Um, let me see. Juan Carlos, are you the me layer la number one, two, three, and four? Y luego Blanca, usted continúa with five, six, seven, and eight. Please. Yes. Yeah. I work at a bookstore. I love books, so it's a great job. And I'm going to go to the bank. I need a new debit card. My card is is almost all out of gasoline. Is there a gas station near here? Here. Hasta la cuatro. Yes, continue with number four, please. Are you going to to the post office? I need some stamp. Fine. On on Sunday, I buy food for my family at the supermarket. We're going to or oh, we're gonna have an express at the coffee shop before class. Anita is going to get some 
medicine at the drugstore. My son is going to school. Next week, we're gonna the, the department store. Ya lo demás, teacher, ya no lo alcanzo a ver por el celular. <laughs> okay. Department store downtown uh, to buy in a backpack. Very good. Yep. Thank you so much for your participation in that one. Let me show you more examples. Okay. We're going to have this pronunciation video. Let's listen and watch. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn to sound natural when expressing compound nouns. Let's get started by listening and practicing. Compound nouns. Notice the stress in these compound nouns. Post office. Gas station. Restroom. Coffee shop. Drugstore. Supermarket. Bookstore. Department store. I would like to start off by explaining what compound nouns are. A noun equals a person, a place, or a thing. So basically anything that you can see around you is a noun. Compound nouns are a combination between two words that make up a new noun. For example, the compound noun gas station. Gas, the word by itself, is a noun. Station is a noun. Together, they make up a different noun. Now that we understand what compound nouns are, I would like to dig into stressing these compound nouns. Stressing words in English is a big topic. However, in this class, we're going to make it short and simple and stick to compound nouns only. So the simple rule that we can follow is whenever we have a compound noun, we usually stress the first word or the first noun. This means that we're going to say the first word louder than the rest. Let me read these compound nouns again. I would like for you to practice with me as well. Post office. Gas station, office. restaurant, Gas station. coffee shop, drugstore, supermarket, store. bookstore, supermarket. department store. Okay. Now it's your turn. What I would like for you to do next is to practice these compound nouns and record yourself using the website bookroo.com. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. So what do we have from the video is about compound words, okay? Oh my gosh, give me a mess. Compound words. What are compound words? Where are the things that we use? Um, gosh. give me a minute. Oh, what? The video here. Okay. So here we go. Oh, give me a break. Okay. Here we have here. As the word by Okay, so the compound words are like cuando tenemos two words together so we can form one uh meaning. Okay. So we have this one is one word and this is another one. Entonces tenemos que combinar las dos so we can name like, like a pass up, like a gas station. So we have two words combined, so we can have a meaning of something. Restaurant, coffee shop, a drugstore, supermarket, um, bookstore, and department. Okay, so these are like uh, the places, like pretty much we combine using two words, and that's why we have a compound word. The pronunciation tip is very simple, específica. En la mayoría de cases, solo pronunciamos la, la, número, la number one, the strong, y luego la demás, bajamos la pronunciation. So I can say post office, gas station, rest, coffee shop, 
Blocks, supermarkets, bookstores, okay, departments. So, entonces, lo que yo quiero entonar, ¿va? yo quiero que se suene pues, um, uh, alto, that, a eso le llamo intonation, okay, or pronunciation. Like when we say the It's a rising intonation? Yeah, this is the correct intonation of these words. Okay, so uh, whenever you pronounce them, try to pronounce the first one kind of louder than the other one. Si más alto la primera que esta. Pause of the gas station. Rest run. Coffee shop. Yes. So this is the way that we can pronounce. Uh, okay. Question about this? No questions? Okay, give me a minute, please. Because. Oh, yes, oh, yes. Give me a minute. Oh, my gosh, what did I think? Okay, okay. Thank you. Just give me a minute. Oh, my gosh. Let me find the material because I have it here, but Yes. Yes. Okay. Yesterday, uh, we were working with this thing that is called um, being six, right? So we have health problems. We're going to complete this conversation using the verbs that we have in the box. Julio, Cesar, ayúdeme a leer los verbs que tenemos en la box, please. Thank you. Eh, las palabras, me dijo. Yes. Lo voy a hacer a little bit bigger para que no le dé la lista. Yeah, sorry. Okay, okay. Uh, drink. Uh, fear, go, have, help, listen, rest, take, work. Thank you so much, Bradley. Okay. Uh, ¿Entienden todos los verbs que tenemos ahí? Yes. Yes or no? Yes, it's um, Okay, perfect. Yes, it's okay. Tenemos it's el title. Rest. rest. Oh, rest. Rest is descansar, right? Rest. Okay, thank you. Yes, perfect. Okay, so this person, we have a doctor here and we have Liz. We're going to complete this conversation using this word. Hello, Liz. What's wrong, ladies? Right? I feel sick. What is the next verb that I have here? I have, have, have. stomachache. I have, very good, a stomach. Very good. And a headache. I see. Here. What is next? Feel. I see feel. Feel. Take. Oh, very good. We have take. Okay. Take. One of these pills. Every <laughs> three hours. And then. Drink. Oh, very good. So we have drink. drink. Drink any coffee or soda. Okay. What's the matter? We have the number two, right? Mr. Ken and Tara. What's the matter, Tara? I have the flu. I think. I have the flu. I have the flu. Okay, I have the flu. What is I have. 
I have the flu. Okay, what is next? That's too bad. Listen. That's too bad. Listen. 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 Go. Go home. Go home, yes. Take some aspirin. Oh, take, very good. Take some aspirin and rest in bed. Oh my gosh, look at this. Rest in bed. Yes, okay, stay in the seguro, right? Okay, take this one and this. What about the last one? So I said a little bit smaller because you see it, right? Okay. What about this one? I thought it okay. That maybe I can. I can. Teacher, no vemos. Okay, sorry. Work. Okay. What about now? Yes. So you can hear that. Why oh, are so tired? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry to hear that. Maybe I can. What? Excuse me? What? Go. Go home. Go, go, yes. go home. Go. 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 Work. Home. Oh, okay. So, what's the idea? I can go or is something else? Okay, I can. There is only one bird that goes here, but which one is that? Okay, so I have have, take, have, drink, uh, have again, go, take, rest. So go is not here. Okay. Yes. What is um, it? Maybe I can. Work. Work. Help. Help. Oh, yes. Maybe I can help. Right? So. We're offering help to someone. Warm. Um, go home. Go home. Go home. Very good. So go home. Early. Take to some relaxing. No. Take. Take. No, take. Take and take. So we have to take. Take here. Take. And and take, so I already used the two of them. Mm -hmm. Yes, listen to some relaxing music. Oh, very good, listen, mm -hmm. right? And don't work too hard. Exactly, right, listen, and don't work hard, okay? Work hard, very good, thank you, Peter. Yes, so these are recommendations that we can have, okay? Yes. So, uh, Blanca, can you read number one, please? One, number one. Doctor yes. has. A... Hello, please. What's wrong? Um, I feel sick. I have a stomach and a headache. Um, Doctor Hart, I see her say on of the feel every three hours and don't drink any coffee or soda. Jennifer, Mr. Jennifer, thank you. Number two, Jennifer Flores, okay. thank you. Mr. Kent, what's the matter? 
Tara. I think I have the flu, Mr. Kent. That's too bad. Listen, go home, take some aspirin and rest in bed. Thanks, Mr. Kent. Anna Elisa, please, number three. Anna Elisa. Oh, I'm so tired. Every day is the same. Work, work, work. I'm exhausted. James, I'm sorry to hear that. Maybe I can help go home early. Listen to some relaxing music and don't work too hard. Thank you so much. Raining, just give me a minute. I need to have my headphones. Thank you. Okay, I'm sorry, it's raining a little bit. Do you hear me nice and clear? Yes or no? Yes? Yes. yes. Okay, perfect. I need to use these headphones uh, because it's raining for one more time. Okay, which is which is wonderful. Okay, let's get back to the vocabulary we were working on, which is about what is the vocabulary we were working first. Uh huh. Melanie, tell me what is one vocabulary from um uh, from the topic that we have today. Uh, maybe uh, for the place. Oh, yes, please. Can you tell me one place in your city? Um, restaurant. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, now, can you use this vocabulary in a sentence, please? Vocabulary? Yeah, this vocabulary, use it in a sentence. Drink. Okay, can you make a sentence? I drink soda in the restaurant the pizza. Oh, okay, okay. So let's say I drink, you told me, I drink a soda in the restaurant, right? Okay. Yeah? Oh my gosh, in the restaurant, yes? I drink soda in the restaurant. Very good. Okay. What else can I do? In a restaurant. Mm -hmm. um, okay, let's work with Juan yeah. Carlos. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Juan Carlos Lopez, what else I can do in a restaurant? Uh, I can, I can, uh, I mean, I drink soda in a restaurant. What else? ¿Qué más? What else? ¿Qué más puedo hacer in a restaurant? One, creo que su micrófono no funciona. Sorry. Sí, sí, no le escucho. No sé si los demás le escuchan o solo yo. Eat. What? I eat pasta. Oh, He yes. said eat. I, I eat. Y en forma general, what is the name? Food. Very good. Food, right? So I eat food in a restaurant. I, I eat food. I eat food in a restaurant. What else can I do in a restaurant? Um, what else can I do in a restaurant? I had a conversation in the friend, with friends. <laughs> <laughs> with friends <laughs> and family. Hasta que ya lo sacan. Hasta que se acaba la hora. Le voy a retirar el plato. Bueno, <laughs> <laughs> I have a conversation with uh my friend. Very good. Okay, very good. 
thank you so much. I can have a conversation with my friend. Miguel Rodriguez, tell me another place, please. Another place, Miguel, in the city. Thank you. Mall. Oh, look at that one. Oh, that's very good, right? We have El Moles, right? Yeah. The mall. Okay. Now give me a sentence, Miguel, that I can use. Uh, where I can use the mall. Miguel? I buy the shoes in the mall. Okay. Um, yes, sir. My hand. No, no. It's okay. Yesterday. Of yesterday. No, solo era I buy shoes in the mall. So, okay, I okay, very good. Yesterday I bought. Oh, that's that's a, that's intermediate, right? I bought. Yeah. Shoes. Shoes. In, in the mall. In the mall. Okay. Okay. Very good. Okay. Any mistake there? Everything good? Okay. Do you understand the sentence? I go to the cinema in the night. Cinema. Oh, okay. Very good. Okay. Very good. <laughs> I go to the movie, movie theater. Theater. Okay. On weekend, right? Let's say. I go to the movie theater on weekend. Yeah, so where is the movie theater? Like in the mall, right? So we have cinema. Okay. What else? Mm -hmm. Minneapolis is another. What else can I do in the mall? What else can I do? We can buy some clothes. Oh, yes, right. Um, we uh would say can buy clothes mire right so you can buy clothes over there right at the TV in the mall very good what else we can do in the mall well we can do a bunch of things very good okay this is one way that we can practice the vocabulary that we have like having a place and say it what do we do there Yes, mm -hmm. what are the things that we can do in a place or in a building? And we can add vocabulary and also we can add sentences. This is one way that we can do it. Also, another way that you can do it is by doing a mind map. Do you know what is a mind map? For example, I have this mind map here. In here, I'm going to buy, let me see. Uh, okay, bakery. So I have a bakery, yes, right? I think I have a mistake there. Oh no, a mistake. So what are the things that I can buy in a bakery, right? So then we put a bakery in the middle, and then I can make some branches, right? Branch one, two, three, four, buy and see. So what are the things that I can buy in a bakery? Huh? A cupcake. A cupcake? Okay. okay can I have another? Let me write it here. Okay. How, how do you say semita? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh semita is semita because it's a not it's a proper name. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and the bread and conchas. Okay. In general, tenemos una frase para decir pan dulce. Yes. Ajá, Juan Carlos, tell me. ¿Cuál es esa palabra que utilizamos para decir pan dulce? Any idea? Miguel? Any idea? Everybody, everybody loves uh, pan dulce, right? And we have this bunch of bakeries where we can get <laughs> sweet bread. Oh, sweet bread is the literal translation into Spanish, right? So, pan dulce, sweet bread. But mm -hmm. 
we use one what is called phase three. Oh my gosh, give me a minute. Phase three is the one that we use. When we have a bunch of pan dulce, we go in general, phase three. I want to buy some phase three. Yes. Exactly, right? So you can have a bunch of hojitas, the peperetas, I don't know. Okay. Maria Luisa. Oh, Maria Luisa. Okay, you have a bunch of hojitas. La alemana. La alemana. I don't know why. Suena machista, but that's true. La mayoría de pan dulce es feminine. Okay? Yeah, it's, it's female. I don't know why. Siempre tenemos family names. Peperechas, novias, cojitas, María Luisa. I don't know why. We don't have. Solo el café falta. Oh, we have a coffee, right? <laughs> <Excuse> <laughs> we have a coffee. Okay, coffee. What else? Y el clima ayuda también ahorita. <laughs> sí. Okay, what else? <laughs> ¿Qué más puedo comprar en la bakery? Donuts. Oh, donuts. Okay. Las tartaletas, ¿cómo se dice? Oh, that's a pastry. Ah, pastry. Mm -hmm. Donuts, what else? Juice. Pan tres leches. Oh, juice, very good, juice. Okay. Tea. Oh, tea, exactly, we can buy tea, right? Yeah. Cake. Okay. Oh, we can buy a cake as well. A cake, ah, different things. Mm -hmm. Okay, what else? Cappuccino. Oh, cappuccino. Cappuccino. What else? Chocolate. Yeah. Chocolate. Horchata. Chocolate. Right? Bread. Bread. <laughs> Chocolate. Horchata, yes. Horchata is horchata. Juice, orange. Coca-Cola. Coca Hot cocoa. That is the way we call chocolate, okay? Hot cocoa. Okay. Well, I know, yeah. Hot cocoa. Oh, yes. Cake, cook. Hot cook cocoa. Cake. Oh, we can say hot chocolate. Pancakes. Oh, pancakes. Yeah, we can. Tamales. Pancakes. Tama yeah, so this is one way. Yeah. So, <laughs> Waffles. ¿Te fijaron? Waffles. Yes, tamales. En la Rosario. Horchata. <laughs> Suspiros. Yes, exactly. Suspiros. Yeah, exactly. Horchata, teacher. Horchata, yes, we can have horchata. Very good. Waffles. Um, waffles as well. Cho Very good. Tamales. <laughs> Choco chocolate. Hot chocolate or hot cocoa. Both of them are good. Very good. Chocolate de tablilla. De cacao. Oh. Yes, hot cocoa. Hot cocoa. Okay. So, ¿te fijaron cómo lo hice, right? Entonces, tienen varias opciones para mejorar, mejorar el vocabulario. Una de ellas es poner la palabra y luego empieza a hacer sentence. I drink soda in a restaurant. I eat food. I have conversation with my friends. Also, tienen la opción de hacer como un mind map. So, you have the vocabulary, the, the phrase in the middle, y luego empieza a agregarle el vocabulary, right? Cupcake, hot cocoa, coffee, everything that goes related to that. Ahora, yo puedo practicar eso con cualquier vocabulary. Entonces, viene usted y lo cambia, right? Ya no quiero bakery. Ahora voy con, uh, let's say, family members, right? Sí. Viene usted y lo que hace, pues, simplemente vocabulary y empieza a poner family members, right? Father, mother, brother, and so on. This is one way que le ayuda con la gramática, with the grammar part, y luego viene usted y lo repite, right? y lo repite, if you say. It. So this one will help you to improve your vocabulary. Vocabulary is very important, in this, porque esa cosa nos ayuda a dar complemento. Yes, okay, so usted utiliza los verbos, and then you add a complement. Yes, right. 
right? So you can say, I buy tamales. I eat tamales. I have tamales. I like tamales. Como dijo su compañero Miguel, I bought tamales yesterday. Yes, right? So you can use este vocabulary para el complement a estos verbos, right, that you use. Right, so you can use this. Okay, we're going to stop it here. Don't forget el Monday. Allá desde el de Cameron. Sí, de allá se conecta. Don't worry. Yes, de allá se conecta el Monday. Yes. Mm -hmm. A la misma hora y por el mismo canal. De la curva mujeres. <laughs> de la curva mujeres. <laughs> Thank you. De la finca lo va a saludar. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thank you. Bye, Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Great Good job. Night. Good 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 night.